really the best player in Tatsis right now, aside from Trella, um, Austin, of course, the one and only Nest name with uh, rocking the attire as always with the uh, Robin Noodle pants and the uh, very 90s t-shirt. And Kasoku on the right side of the screen. Kasoku uh, recently going back to Mario after being with Pichu since the uh, initial drop of the game. But after the nerf, he's like, you know what? Let me go back to my old Smash 4 main. And it's been working out. So no shame to that. So going into game one, of course, we're going to start on the starter stage of Ultimate. It is Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's get into it. Yeah. I do know that a little bit before the nerfs, Kazoku was looking at the Mario, but then after the nerfs, he basically switched to just pure Mario. Oh, for sure. Uh, I would not blame him. Anyways, for this game, uh, we really want to expect exactly what's going on right now. Mario is all about the combo game. He wants to get the grabs. He wants to find those openings to get as many hits as he can, while Ness is all about slowly chipping away at the damage. And, well, as you've seen right now, Kasoku definitely has the combo game to work with Mario. And, well, Austin is sitting at 119% in 30 seconds, really. Yeah, Kasoku starting off with a really nice ladder combo, putting him ahead early. But, oh, and Austin for his recovery. Ooh, I saw Austin definitely trying to lean back a little with the DI, trying to see if he can get caught by Kasoku's upbeat to save his life, potentially. But Kasoku delaying the upbeat just enough to where he can get back. And, oh, oh. all right. Oh. PK Thunder did take his jump, but uh, Kasoku very wise to uh, wait a second before going back on. The early recovery, very nice mid up. Austin expecting him to go very low, but Kasoku surprised him this time with the up B very early and getting back to the ledge for free. Yeah, you definitely have to make such a recovery every time trying to get up past Austin just because of that Thunder, but the back throw taking that first stock from Kasoku. Yep, as always, the Ness back throw. Uh, sitting pretty at 35%. Not much of extra credit was given. And to walk away by Austin, knowing Kasoku and Mario, of course, wanting the grab game, wanting all the combos he can, just running, just walking up to Kasoku and just baiting him to throw an option out of shield. And he got exactly what he wanted. And now, offstage. Oh, I think Kasoku wanted to go offstage to try to go for the cape, but. He didn't, but he managed to uh, get stuck on the ledge. So unfortunately, nothing is going to happen. Austin has really managed to like pull this back from being really far behind in that first stock, just take securing that first stock and then starting to come back in the second one. Oh, absolutely! If there's someone that can definitely do that, it is most for certainly Austin. And right now, Soker is sitting at death percent from the back though at the ledge, so he's got to place more center stage control because right now. Mario really kind of has to play the survival game. If you get trapped in a quarter, it's not a very good spot versus Ness, just in general. But as Mario, like that, just exactly like that. Uh, getting cornered by Ness is not very fun. And that's going to go down to his last stock. Yeah, Yo-Yo on ledge is really forcing Kazoku to recover high, and every time he doesn't, he's guaranteed to just get hit or a kill. Just in general, Kazoku always has in mind that, okay, if I recover low, Austin does have the potential to not only PK fire me, but he also has the potential to just throw down a Yo-Yo, which in this game, it is so potent at the ledge. Especially because he can just do it over and over and over again after the first one. Yep, and right now, Kazoku just wants to try to take the stock right now, and... Oh, that Austin magnet. nearly going in a little too early and getting that up smash. Yeah, Magnet really helps him just stall and keep just out of range of certain hits. Yep, and that movement is really all about using that Magnet. It really just, you're floating movement in general, but Austin has definitely shown that Ness can really make some extra options with that Magnet movement. Uh, oh, and nearly dead. But right now, good neutral air by Kasoku just canceling out the uh, th the main part of the uh, PK nice Thunder. Ooh. Yep, that Mario up smash, go for the uh, ally. Just uh, throwing that up smash all the way out there. Yeah, Kasoku really needed to just secure that stock so he could try to start making a comeback on this last one. Yep, and Kasoku at this point, he does not want, as again, he does not want to get cornered by Austin. And he wants to find that grab or any opening that he can to really get some damage on but the disadvantage is very much uh, bad. And right now, the grab that he probably needs, the up tilt, great starter combo, 63%. Not very bad. Yeah, but pretty much anything at Austin, uh, that Austin could throw out, like that back air would kill. So Kasoku had to be really careful to play around that. Of course. And Mario's aerials, while they are really, really fast, uh, you definitely can punish them out of shield if you are ready for them, as uh, Austin clearly was right there. 
Um, going back to early with the PK Magnet, uh, it's not only just good for movement, but it can also absorb the fireballs in this matchup. And Soku really has to be careful about where he throws his fireballs. He has to acknowledge that Austin does have that Magnet Shield, and he uses it quite a bit. So he wants to be really careful of, like, okay, I want to bait Austin and maybe throw it out the, P the PK Magnet and have an opening from there. But Austin, being the player he is, he obviously kind of figures out, like, okay, here's where a bait's going to happen, or, oh, you threw it here already, let me miss my options. Up. Yeah, Kosoku also deciding to go back to PS2, most likely just decided that he lost because of just a couple mistakes that he can fix in this game, too, instead and it, of the stage. And it really was. He really just kind of got pushed into a corner a lot. But whenever Kosoku got an opening, it was definitely worth the, the worthwhile. And... Yeah, for sure. He, all of his ladder combos, just like the one we're seeing right now. We really? might see. Oh, oh. No, all right. Almost getting that early kill. Now, if, awesome if, if there were any rage at all, that definitely would have killed. For sure. He had him right at the blast zone after that up B. Yep. And as I was mentioning earlier, that's what Mario wants. He wants to get these grab combos. He wants to force your opponent to be scared of like, okay, I don't want to get grabbed. Because Mario is, if he grabs me, I'm going to get like 60% free. And oh. Up smash getting getting that stock a lot earlier than in the first game, which allows Kasoku to sort of start racking up percent on the second stock. Definitely, he barely died at that up smash, and I would assume that's probably the minimum that he can die at. Was that probably 136, 135, probably somewhere around there. But Austin really trying to sort of secure this stock to show that he can't be too far behind. And Kasoku, uh oh, oh, okay, that was a little dangerous. A good try, by, good effort by Austin just to recover very high. Oh, Kasoku with a really good DI to keep alive from that back throw. Oh, oh, and okay, as he kept his jump, which is a great idea, especially knowing that Austin will probably throw a PK Thunder or a Yo-Yo out there. But after the PK Thunder, it forced Kasoku to recover low and early, which Austin was more than happily ready for. It's like, hey, here's my Yo-Yo. Take but this. Now, but now Kasoku is really racking up percent again to try and get another ladder combo into either an up smash later on or an up B to kill. Definitely. But at this moment, 70% is really not going to help you out when you want a down throw game. Oh, and oh, Austin took his jump with one of those back, with one of those forward airs. He took Kasoku's jump. But however, Kasoku wise enough to air dodge back before actually recovering. And Austin really just uh, wasn't prepared. Yeah, Austin's really trying to get these edge guards, and he's got a lot of them. Kasoku's oh. going low, which is really interesting because trying to gimp nest during yeah. his recovery can be really dangerous. Yeah, you, he was trying to go for the kite block, and that is something that's actually very useful versus nest. If you feel like that it is very much well more worth it to just put yourself in the line of fire and just put yourself in front of the PK Thunder, then please just do it because you'll now you may get a bit of percent, but you take a stock for free. Yeah, and Kasoku, while we were talking, took that stock, but then Austin taking a stock right back, putting it down to the last stock, even percent. Yep, Kasoku assuming that Austin will try to chase him up on the top platform, but Austin very patiently waits to see what Kasoku throws out, and he earns him that stock. Yeah, and Austin's finally taking lead for the first time, I believe. And oh, and there goes his jump. The that game. will be yeah. it. Yep. Austin with a nice forward air to steal the uh, jump off of Kisoku, securing that last stock. Yep, that uh, forward air definitely uh, going very low.